are that uh, for only $20,000, you can purchase this future for an override on every text message that is purchased in the Philippines that brings you know money into uh, the Holidium lab. China's a steal right now. It's going for 800 grand. So, so it's, it's, it's like an uh, advanced investment on, on an override of a dollar. You're securing, you're securing the routes. Well, you're, you're buying the route <laughs> for us to send the text message to your country. That's it. Simple. Huh. Yeah. I, I, I bought it for a buck. I sold it for a buck. And then no, you get a no, buck no. every time. <laughs> so it's even. No, no. No, he just, he's just going to buy $20,000, and he could make a million. Out of Absolutely. a million text messages out See, of that. Here's how it works. You got 20,000 text messages to your country. Okay? Well, that's only $20,000. And, and when those are gone, you got 20,000 more. No, 20, no, no more. they're never gone. <laughs> they're never gone. <laughs> never gone, Thunder. They, they're never gone. <laughs> yeah. We get down 20,000. We get down to 19,000 views. <laughs> we reorder another 20 block. <laughs> we, we have a um, hologram that, has, that we send out to the telephone itself. And that's the battery boost. What that does is it absorbs the battery um, time in half. So iPhones take a couple of hours. Now you get it done in an hour. So the battery time doesn't take as long to charge. Once it is charged, instead of three hours on your iPhone, now you get five. So it takes shorter time to um, charge and longer time to discharge. I did that on quantum uh, absorption, and it's on our um, PowerPoint is on our .org website. Lovely lady in the back whose shirt matches mine. In other words, can you cut off e can oh. you cut off EMF with from computers? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we reduce? Yeah. Uh, we can. Yes, we can uh, email that to you. You can then download that. Um, and save it to your uh, wallpaper on your on your laptop. Now we we went beyond that though, uh, because the laptop is only a small problem in the house. So now why not make the whole house EMF radiation proof? Put on the breaker box. You open the breaker box, you put the hologram, you shut the door. Yeah, I use the conduit of the walls. And, and the copper lines, and we, we replace that with, uh, well, we don't replace it. We convert it to the property of uh, silver rhodium. Yeah. It's, it, it has more conductivity than copper, but rhodium costs a lot of money. You just don't put that in your walls. You know, we use copper. So we change the way the um, electricity flows in your house. We neutralize all of the um, surges and spikes. And when you do that, it's really cool. Your electricity bill is dropped. Huh, 20%. How's that happen? You can take a, you can bench this one. It's real easy. Take a 9-volt uh, battery, multimeter test it. You got 9, 8.7 uh, volts of power. You don't even have 9 volts coming out of a 9-volt battery. Huh? We drop a resistor and a resistor. And measure. Now, you have a television, you're watching the Super Bowl, you got your big screen, and Miss High Maintenance turns on the high hot air um, dryer, and your TV goes, nah. okay. that's a surge. Okay. Same thing. We got a battery, we got two resistors, television, hair dryer. And we multimeter test them, and we see 17.1 volts. Where did that come from? On, on Spike. And then uh, probably a load of probably 4.2, and then stabilizes out back at, at around the 8. Okay? Where did 17 volts come from? It's a 9-volt battery. What is the difference between the multimeter and the meter on the side of your house? Nothing. It's an overcharge. Simple. What? How long does it last? Forever. My stuff doesn't go away. It's kind of like this. Um, if you had well, a DVD. The question was, how long... Do one of these holograms last? How long are That's they effective? Yeah. And he says uh, forever. I say forever. Um, uh, Federal Trade Commission says I can't say that. Um, I got to wait one day after forever. Uh, so <laughs> I, my stuff's been working for 10 straight years. I don't, I, I, can't see, oh, excuse me. I can't see how it would stop working. 
if you put a DVD in a safety deposit box for 100 years and your grandkids pull it out and play it on an antique DVD player, will it work? We don't know that. But we think it will. And 100 years from now, I could be wrong. Maybe DVDs won't work. They'll mysteriously lose um, audio and video and they have shelf life. We don't know. I'm kind of leading toward that my holograms will be there forever. Uh, three years. What are you doing with the Seattle Seahawks? Good question. Uh, <laughs> question was, uh, what are you doing with the Seattle Seahawks? <laughs> We're going to be working with uh, Coach Ward. We're working with um, Coach um, P. Carroll. Thank you. Nonprofit organization. And, uh, yeah, that was one we chose from uh, – a former, um, oh, anyways, another private label that we have. We like to keep everything quiet until everything yeah. is. Uh, let's uh, wait on that. But we got, uh, we got, we got our nonprofit, and we, we really like what Pete Carroll stands for. Um, I'm a big fan of making sure uh, kids in, in inner, inner cities have a chance. You know? We have a lot of money in our country, and we got a lot of problems in our country. So I like to take a lot of money and solve a lot of problems. I like the karma cash that upstairs gives you. And that's where this download came from. This whole business plan. Look, I, I'm, not, I'm an idiot farm kid from the Midwest. First off, I'm not even really that smart. Okay? Really, I'm not. But I'm very connected. I'm very spiritual. I'm very conscious. Nothing more. So you can be, you can be semi-smart and semi-conscious, and you're better off than somebody who's brilliant with no conscious. Five oh. minutes? Oh, okay. Question, how did this get birthed? How did you get Question is, uh, how was this uh, birthed? Lost my fight with the FDA um, <laughs> for liquid nicotine and a bump spray. Walked across the street, put my credit card on the counter, and bought a box of cigars. I looked at the credit card, and I said, hmm, what the hell does a hologram sound like? We know what they look like. What do they sound like? Well, if I could show them. Phase matter. And my head just started rolling. I had an epiphany. You know, moment of clarity. Six weeks later, took that nicotine frequency, had finally constructed a hologram to transduce the energy to, and stuck it on my arm. 40 minutes later, my arm was numb. I was having chest pains. The neurons in my brain were telling my heart that I just smoked a 200-pound cigarette and you are going into cardiac arrest, so get ready. <laughs> Room's getting a little dark. I don't feel good. I was lucky to um, remove it. I had my equipment and neutralized myself back to health. Note to self, do not build a toxin. It will kill you in the lab. Yeah, so, I think that's an important yeah. aspect about Thunder's so technology. Is my products is safe? That everything, yeah. everything, I can't make is, anything that'll harm everything me. is positive. <laughs> I can't build anything that's non as dangerous. So is our product safe? Uh, yeah, otherwise I'd be dead. I am the true guinea pig here. Do pharmaceutical guys eat their pills? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. The uh, question is, what kind of equipment does he use to uh, make my, these holograms? My beautiful Lamborghini. That's what I named it. I, I built a kick-ass machine. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a bioenergetic computer. I built um, about, geez, almost um, 14 years ago now. Um, yeah, way before. You know what? And it's still today. Because uh, I go out and I look at a lot of new bioenergetic computers and, and medical systems that are out there that are running thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. Mine would probably cost in the neighborhood of, uh, is, is NASA building it? Or this is the private sector. Yeah. Um, if NASA had to build it, it would cost uh, about the same price as what the Russian Moscow cosmonaut space program costs. So... Uh, that's what we built. I reverse engineered the Moscow medical space program for cosmonauts. I put it into a $10 formable text message because it, 
I'm looking at the Russians, and I love them. I, the Russians are brilliant people. I, I, they're so far ahead of us. It's, it's embarrassing. And, and I look at the Russians, and I'm thinking, you, you guys spent like $10 billion on Yuri sitting in space for two years. He had the best, he had the best medical we've ever had. Astronauts at NASA, followed by the NFL, are, are the highest paid per person in medical. Now, NASA spends the most money on medical. NFL spends, I think, like, I think NFL spends like 60, 70,000 a player per year. NASA spends, I think, uh, 400,000. Yeah. Are we getting $400,000 worth of medical here? Anyone? <laughs> Nobody makes 400,000. Huh. Let's make medical affordable. Text message. I don't have any inventory. <laughs> I don't have any shipping. I don't have any stockpile. It's just there. Pick on what you need, download, hold next to water, drink. We made it simple. Yeah. What, what kind of problems are you going to have with the federal government over this in order to get it implemented without um, The I, uh, question is, uh, what are the uh, likely uh, issues with the federal uh, government on this uh, technology? Um, I don't have an FDA issue. <laughs> My therapy is beautiful. I, there's nothing you drink or put in your mouth. There's nothing you shoot, eat, snort, um, however other formulations it comes in uh, FDA here, new drug delivery, squirt, uh, I don't care. I have um, text messaging. Uh, let's see. That falls under FCC. And last time we checked, text messaging is 100% legal. I have no, nobody can stop this. That's the reality. All right. I'm bold. Hold with it. No, I just I look for loopholes. Okay. Thank you. Has it been um, inspirational? Thank you. Do we need a break, sir? All right. Yes, Jerry Avalos after this. Lucid dreaming and military applications. Come on back in 10 minutes.